Okay, so this course uh, uh, on artificial intelligence basically is aimed at uh, making people uh, really understand what is actually uh, going on in artificial systems, artificial intelligence. So basically, we know that artificial intelligence is uh, uh, like uh, it has a lot of uh, topics which come under uh, artificial intelligence. So uh, it actually comes from various uh, uh, different fields actually. Okay. So uh, uh, we'll try to cover, uh, even though it is very vast, we we'll try to cover all the topics which come under artificial intelligence. So basically we start off by talking about different types of agents. In other words, uh, how much autonomy does that agent have? Okay. Uh, they may be, for example, if you consider the clock, you can say that in the clock, the minute hand and the hour hand keeps moving, but it has no um, interaction with the environment. So it's like a very simple agent or you can say it's an agent which does not have any autonomy. So similarly, you can have agents with varying degrees of autonomy. So you can see uh, what is the type of agent you are using and how much autonomy it has. Uh, this also depends on the environment and how much knowledge the agent has on the envi environment. Then uh, we talk about um, problem solving, uh, you know, in AI. So if you have a problem which needs to be solved, you have the start state and you have the end state. So how do you go from the start state to the goal state? So you use what are called search strategies. So there are a number of search strategies. So we go through the various type of search strategies which can be used. A special mention to be made here is the game playing. Okay, so search strategies in game playing. This varies uh, from the other search strategies because you have an opponent and the opponent also makes a move. So you have to take that also into account. So once we have covered search strategies, we'll talk about logic. So how do you represent facts and rules which are together called knowledge, right? So how do you represent knowledge? by using logic. So we talk about things like proposition logic, predicate logic, and uh, we can also have um, you no know, logic which takes uh, space and time into account, etc. Right. So the simplest uh, logic is the propositional logic. And also, uh, when we talk about logic, we need to talk about how you carry out reasoning using logic. So that would be the next topic that is covered. And uh, you also have logic which is not monotonic in nature. In other words, if you take, uh, say, a proposition P, the proposition P may be true at a particular point in time, but in, at another point in time, it may not be true, right? So such type of logic is called the non-monotonic type of logic. So. Um, we'll cover some non-monotonic types of logic. So after covering logic, we will go into planning. So what are the planning, um, different types of planning algorithms which are there. So we talk about uh, things like partial order planner, the regression planner, etc. All the types of planners. And then we talk about planning in the real world how planning is carried out in the real world where uh, you have to take resources into account, you have to take time into account. Uh, there, there are a lot of uh, constraints which you need to take into account. Without those constraints, real world planning cannot go on. So you talk about how planning and monitoring can be carried out together, right? And after monitoring, if there is a problem with the agent, with the planning, you do, how you can carry out re-planning, etc. So that is the planning part. 
Now, when we come to AI, we need to deal with systems which have a lot of uncertainty. So, how to deal with this uncertainty is what we need to see. So, this is taken care of next where we talk about uh, using probability. Uh, we have things like Bayesian belief networks, um, decision networks, Bayesian decision networks, all these things. We also <coughs> talk about fuzzy sets and systems. So, in, in fuzzy sets and systems, you uh, talk about, um, um, you know, items having uh, a, a degree of truth. So, if you have a set of objects, it can belong to the set with a membership value. So, we talk about the fuzzy sets and systems, which is also used for um, uncertainty. Then we come to the learning algorithms. So, the learning algorithms we know uh, there are four types. You have supervised, unsupervised, you have uh, uh, semi-supervised and uh, reinforcement learning. So, we deal with all these with, with some of the topics over here, not everything. So, we talk about different classification algorithms which are used. Um, we also talk about something like hypothesis learning and we um, and after that we cover GAs or genetic algorithms and genetic programming which you could say is used uh, for classification you could also say they are search algorithms ok. So, we cover those and then uh, we come to deep learning algorithms. So, the deep learning algorithms are uh, very important nowadays because they are used a lot and they give very good results. So, we will talk about deep learning algorithms uh, and then the natural language processing uh, how it is uh, carried out and uh, swarm intelligence where uh, swarm intelligence can be used for solving some type of problems especially some type of optimization problems. So, we will talk about swarm intelligence. An important aspect here is the ethics ok. So, uh, what is the ethics in AI ok. Uh, it sh I mean you, you have an AI system which is supposed to simulate or, or do what the human being does. So, you need to see that it does no harm ok um, and uh, it does not behave with some bias it is equitable to all and there are a number of uh, things also you need to see that um, um, you know about job displacement. So, you need to consider those. So, all these uh, will be uh, used uh, so that you have some type of code of ethics which is used in AI. And finally, in this course we will consider some multiple agent systems mostly we will talk about a few applications of multiple agent systems and how um, the how do you evaluate multiple agent systems? So, this will be the complete um, uh, details of what will be done in this course.